Hey folks, this is Kalani. I want to answer one simple question. How exactly do you go about upgrading your legendary cloak in patch 8.3? I know there's been a bit of confusion with all of the changes on the PTR and how the horrific visions work, but upgrading your cloak should be fairly straightforward when this patch goes live, if you know what you're doing. The most challenging route actually won't yield the best results for this patch, which isn't necessarily what you might expect. But fear not, by the end of this video you should know everything you need for patch 8.3 so you don't miss out on a single legendary upgrade. Let's get started. First things first, Acquisition. The Legendary Cloak is given to you as part of the introduction questline, so I would hope that you can't really skip over that by accident. As long as you work your way through the questlines and scenarios and all that jazz that walks you through everything, you should get your Legendary Cloak without any issues. So now that we have the cloak in hand, or on your back preferably, how do we go about working our way through the 15 ranks of upgrades and what do the upgrades actually do? Your Legendary Cloak is the only cloak you'll be using for the rest of the expansion. It's pretty important then that every upgrade will increase its item level, as that's the only way to increase your item level for this particular slot in this patch. Along with that item level bump comes more primary stat and more secondary stats, but more importantly the cloak will reduce the effect of anything that drains your sanity in the Visions of Nazoth, and it will also provide you with some extra corruption resistance to let you wear more corrupted gear without killing yourself. Upgrading your Legendary Cloak is a huge deal in this patch and opens the door to a variety of powerful progression paths. As for how we get these upgrades, well, it all revolves around the Horrific Vision system. To get into Horrific Visions, you will need a Vessel of Horrific Visions. You can get these from completing Black Empire Assaults or by trading Rathian 10,000 Coalescing Visions. You can pick those up from a variety of activities in patch 8.3. We're looking at an average of 3 Horrific Vision runs per week, which will be an important factor that affects how quickly you will be able to upgrade your cloak. 3 Vision runs is doing all of the daily stuff available, pretty much, so the fewer activities you take part in and complete in the patch, the fewer coalescing visions you'll get, the fewer horrific visions you can run, and ultimately the slower you will progress with your cloak. But just opening a horrific vision and farting around for a bit won't lead you to cloak upgrades, and neither will rushing for the hardest and most punishing areas of a vision. You can actually do the harder objectives and miss a cloak upgrade, so it's important you know what goals to focus on at different ranks of your cloak. The initial upgrade path for your cloak is rank 1 up to rank 15. As you work your way through the ranks, the requirements will change. From rank 1 to rank 5, things are pretty easy. You just need to complete the main objective for the current horrific vision. For Ogremar visions, you need to defeat Thrall, and for the Stormwind vision, you need to defeat Illyria. This kind of gets annoying, because if you complete the main objective, you actually end your current vision, regardless of how much sanity or time you may have left. This encourages you to play a bit riskier, and go for some extra objectives before trying to finish off the main objective and exit the vision. But if you go a bit too far and you die or run out of sanity without killing the main boss, you'll lose your cloak upgrade entirely for that run, at least for the first few ranks. Let's have a quick look at the map so it's a bit easier to understand. Each map has one main objective, Thrall or Illyria, as well as four other bonus objectives. There's two objectives in Corrupted Zones. These will drain your sanity faster than the starting area and will be more difficult in general. There are also two other objectives in Lost Zones. Zones. These drain sanity even faster and are way more dangerous. The chances of you getting a lost zone objective done before you upgrade your cloak a few times is quite slim. Several monsters are capable of stun locking you in sanity draining area of effect spells, which will either kill you or just deplete your sanity before you can really react. You need to be careful if you go into these areas, otherwise you might end up throwing away your vessel of horrific visions and wasting a potential cloak upgrade. So for ranks 1 to 5 you absolutely have to make sure you get the main objective done. I would recommend heading back to the main objective when you're down to just one sanity orb with low sanity. Save that last orb for the main boss, use it just before you engage them to make sure you have full sanity going into it for the best chance of success with the vision and the cloak upgrade. If you finish the main objective, you should get a legendary quest item in your big chest. Take that to Rathian and he will give you a corrupting core. Use that item on your legendary cloak and it will go up one rank. Simple. Do that over and over until you get your cloak up to rank 5 and then things start to get a little more difficult. 
To get from rank 5 to rank 6, you need a different quest item that comes from a chest of a completed bonus objective. I would go for the easier objectives in the corrupted zones first because the lost zones are still going to be much harder to complete. Just getting one corrupted zone objective done will get you the required item for the upgrade to rank 6, but for every rank after that you want to try and finish both corrupted zone objectives to maximize your pages for each run. You can get one page in each bonus objective chest for corrupted zones, so that's two for the max and you can also apparently get one more if you complete the lost area bonus objectives as well which would be a maximum of three per week. That's going to be super important because you need multiple pages for each legendary cloak upgrade past this point. It starts at two pages and goes up to eight pages for your rank 11 upgrade. You'll want to focus on the corrupted zones first and then maybe try to push for a lost zone as well. That would give you the cap of three pages. At this point you don't actually have to bother with the main objective at all. You might still want to consider it for the other rewards, but if you want to focus solely on your legendary cloak upgrades it's not necessary. You also shouldn't rush for the main objective at this point. I know that worked fine for rank 1 to 5, but if you want to progress your cloak past this point, you have to do the bonus objectives. You've probably guessed where we go from here, when you get to rank 11 on your cloak you will need to complete the bonus objectives in the lost areas to progress up to rank 12 and beyond. It works in the exact same way, you need a book for rank 12 and then pages for rank 13, 14 and 15. At this point you can focus just on the lost area objectives and more or less ignore the corrupted areas and the main objective unless you have the spare sanity and spare time. If you're interested in how long all of this will take, it looks like we might actually be able to get the rank 5 sometime in the first week. You get a few vessels for free and if you do everything in the first week you should be able to buy 3 more. This is assuming nothing has changed from the latest PTR build, which at this point wouldn't surprise me. Blizzard has been changing things almost every week. Changing something else for patch week would be just the kind of thing the dev team would do. After that you can get to rank 6, 7 and 8 with one horrific vision each, which should take another week as we are able to do 3 in one week, and then it starts to slow down. When you start needing 4 pages for rank 2, that's 2 visions minimum. Then you need 6 pages, then 8 pages after that. That will take quite a while. You're down to 1 upgrade per week at that point and it only gets slower as you move past rank 10. So we'll get upgrades really quickly to begin with, multiple per week, and it will slow down to less than 1 per week. Hopefully you find the horrific visions enjoyable because we are going to be here for a while before you can max out your cloak. When you do get to rank 15 there will still be some upgrade potential. The infinite Azerite trait was removed in an earlier build and the dev team decided to add that same kind of progression path onto the end of the legendary cloak. So when you get to rank 15 the journey isn't over yet. Here's what the dev team had to say about this grindy extra. We're adding an item in Visions of Nazoth that players will earn once they've upgraded their legendary cloak to its maximum potential via Horrific Visions, or from defeating Nazoth on normal, heroic or mythic difficulty, or from fully completing a Horrific Vision with at least one mask active. This item will fortify the cloak adding additional corruption resistance and allowing players to earn the ability to wear more corrupted armor pieces as time goes by. So after you get rank 15 you should be able to pick up an extra upgrade from killing Nazoth, the last boss in the new Nihilotha raid tier, or from completing more horrific visions with at least one mask enabled. Masks are an extra layer of difficulty that you can add on top of the typical vision and you'll need to unlock each mask before you can enable their particular affixes. While masks make the visions more difficult they also make them more rewarding, particularly when it comes to corrupted mementos and apparently you'll need at least one mask if you want to keep upgrading the cloak past rank 15. I don't think the rank, item level or stats increase on the cloak with this future upgrade, it just adds a bit more corruption resistance so you can keep your corruption stat as low as possible. It's still going to be worth getting in my opinion but it sounds like we won't really need to worry about it for many weeks to come, it's going to take a while to get to that rank 15. So to recap, all of your cloak upgrades from rank 1 to rank 15 come from specific objectives in the horrific vision scenario. You need to make sure you're completing the right objective. From ranks 1 to 5, the main objective in the tainted area or the starting area is what you're looking for. For ranks 6 to 11, you have to complete bonus objectives in the corrupted areas and you might be able to get one extra page from the lost areas. For ranks 12 to 15, you have to focus on the lost areas and you can ignore everything else. If you don't complete the right objective, you might miss out on several cloak upgrades which will put you further behind because of the lack of sanity resistance you have. 
that can have a really bad knock-on effect for corrupted mementos farming, tighten archive unlocks, progressing into deeper areas of the visions, and even getting your first mask. The item level bump and stat increase is important for other areas of the game, and getting to rank 6 and rank 12 are going to be huge milestones thanks to the new bonus effects for the legendary cloak. That rank 12 effect is going to be a massive DPS increase, I can't wait until we're at that point in the patch. But that's everything you need to know about upgrading the legendary cloak in patch 8.3. Hopefully you should be able to answer any and all questions about the upgrade process for your friends and guildies. If you still have questions, or you think there's anything I left out, or you just want to share your opinions about the legendary cloak, the upgrade process, and the horrific vision system, leave all your thoughts in the comments section below. A big thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon, you can see their names floating by on screen. If you want to join these lovely guys and gals, you can find a link in the description below. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, if you want to see more make sure to subscribe. But Apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always I will see you next time.